On 15th December 1876, violent clashes broke out in Chinatown between the police and angry protesters. Earlier that year, the colonial government had introduced a new scheme for Chinese workers to send their remittances home via a safer and more reliable postal service. The Taokais were unhappy with the new arrangement. For years, they had monopolized the remittance business. They resented the colonial government's new alternative. So they spread malicious rumors to stir up anger amongst poor and oppressed workers. They portrayed the scheme as colonial profiteering. Things came to a head when some from the Chinese community ransacked the new post office and attacked the Ellenborough New Market Police Station. The colonial authorities tried 44 of the rioters in court and sentenced most of them to imprisonment and caning. In response, the Chinese Taokais staged a protest by closing all the shops in town. The colonial authorities then detained 12 Taokais on a ship, which they docked three miles off the coast of Singapore. They hoped this would force the other Taokais to reopen their businesses. The ruse worked, and shops resumed operations. The detained Taokais were soon returned to shore. Later, prominent Chinese doctor and intellectual Dr. Lim Boon Kang said, The Chinese post office riots had arisen from misunderstanding and racial prejudice. While the colonial authorities ignored the susceptibilities of the Chinese, the Chinese, on their part, imagined European designs were always harmful. Dr. Lim's comments would go unheeded, leading to growing distrust between the Chinese community and the colonial government in the years that followed.